All right. Um, Taiwan, can you hear us? Wave if you can hear us. Yay. Okay, great, great. Okay, so everybody wave. <laughs> All right. So, um, fantastic. So, um, global greetings to everyone who is listening live throughout Russia and our, our new um, collaborators from Taiwan. We're very excited for you to join us. And to anyone who's listening to our on-demand playback, because we know that not everybody could be here live with us today. Uh, this webinar is being recorded, so you can play it back. And my name is Dr. Yvonne Marie Andres, and I'm the co-founder of Global Schoolnet and the Education and Outreach Director for Global Forest Link. And I want to welcome you to the kickoff session for Global Forest Link this year. We're very excited. We've expanded to new schools and new countries. We have new content um, and, and new resources for you. So we're very excited. Um, I would like to turn this over for a few minutes to my colleague, Elena Yulova, and she'll give you a little bit of an overview about Global Forest Link. Hi, my name is Elena, as uh, Ivan already introduced me, and I will take one second to uh, translate uh, what Ivan said to, to, to Russian schools. Здравствуйте, мы очень рады вас приветствовать, мы очень рады, что у нас новые участники, и надеемся, что эта первая встреча пройдет очень успешно. So the uh, Global Forest Link, as you know, we started it a year ago, and since then we have uh, 54 schools that either participated or participating now, and we are really uh, excited about this. And uh, raise the hands who already went through the step-by-step -step tutorials. Поднимите руки тот, кто уже прошел через видео, на котором рассказывается, что нужно делать в проекте. Okay. <laughs> Um, so the uh, video, actually we have video in English and it's dubbed in Russian, so we really encourage you to do this. Пожалуйста, посмотрите это видео. Это занимает несколько минут. We uh, hope that uh, you will ask uh, questions. You, will all, you can always con uh, contact us. We have all the contact information on our uh, website, globalforestlink.com. У нас вся информация, как с нами связаться на globalforestlink.com, поэтому, пожалуйста, если у вас есть какие-нибудь вопросы, пишите на любом языке. Um, we, uh, actually, the project, it can be summarized in one slide. Um, can I share the screen for a second? Um, can you see the slide? Yes. Okay, so the, uh, stu the students the, uh, will uh, divide into small teams. If you're already a small team, two or three people, then you're already a team. We должны разделиться на несколько команд, по два-три человека. Вы будете, вы изучите tutorials, you will uh, study the tutorials. Uh, we будете ходить в лес и собирать данные. You are going to the forest. You will take images and collect data. You will uh, uh, put the data online into the special form. Вы будете эти данные заносить в специальные формы. Uh, uh, мы потом эти данные соберем и uh, сделаем из них uh, uh, такую аппликацию, которая, uh, с помощью которой можно их анализировать. We will then uh, combine all this data um, and add it to already existing images into the special analysis application. You will uh, also take the videos and interview the experts. You will interview the experts and you will take their interview. You will do your research. You will do your research. You will um, uh, study our tutorials, as I already mentioned. You will study our tutorials. And at the end, you will create really great digital stories. If you create your amazing video presentation, и мы их publish мы их опубликуем на нашем сайте. And we will publish them on our site and we will share them among the current and previous participants. Мы эти истории смогут видеть все участники. 
и вы сможете комментировать, оставлять комментарии по поводу этих историй. И, uh, and also, you can comment on these stories, but also we will have a competition, so you have a chance to win prize. Вы сможете uh, также uh, получить uh, приз за лучшую историю. Uh, okay, I want to... Uh, Uh, now I think that uh, it's time to introduce ourselves because I think that uh, the Moscow team uh, has just 10 minutes left. Um, right, and let's, let's say that um, there will be time for questions at the end. And um, so after we introduce ourselves, um, if you, if, if you need, need to ask questions about what you just heard if you can just wait a little bit there'll be time for you to ask those questions so um yeah let's go around the world and and learn who we have participating with us uh today or tomorrow or whatever time of the day it happens to be it's uh, 10 p.m here in san diego and uh let's start with uh elena why don't you introduce uh the first russian school um я переведу то, что сказал Иван, что э, сейчас мы все э, пытаемся рассказать немножко о себе. Э, э, давайте первый расскажет школа номер 827. So I said that the school number 827 from Moscow, uh, they would introduce themselves. Uh, and also uh, we asked uh, Russian students to, because they already started the project uh, some time ago, Uh, we uh, ask them to tell us a little bit, a few phrases about the uh, problems with the forests in their uh, communities. И также, когда вы будете себя представлять, расскажите нам одно, скажите нам uh, uh, в форме одной или двух фраз, какие вы знаете проблемы, которые происходят ваш, с вашими лесами. И вообще, я понимаю, что в Москве, например, у вас, скорее всего, городские леса, парки, но у них тоже есть проблемы, и uh, расскажите нам об этом. Okay, school number eight to seven. Well, uh, <laughs> my name is Sandra, and uh, there are lots of students of our school here, and uh, we decided to stay from half an hour, I think. Not uh, ten, not just ten minutes. Oh, oh, wonderful! So you will, you will skip the class. <laughs> okay. Uh, so so uh, tell us a couple of words where you're located, and if you can tell us about your forests, it will be wonderful. If you already know which forest you're going mm -hmm. to study. Yeah. Um, can you talk? Hello? We don't hear you. Ребят, мы вас не слышим. Вы можете или громче говорить, или в другой микрофон? They will do it uh, just now. Вы можете просто подойти к микрофону, который работает? Да. Hello, my name is Polina. Hello, my name is Polina, and I want to uh, say uh, some about the uh, problem uh, in Russia forests. Uh, the most big problem is the uh, problem with rubbish. Uh, people leave rubbish uh, after party uh, or after some picnics, uh, and there are a lot of fairs uh, in summer. Uh, can you say something? Спасибо. Thanks. Она сказала, Полин сказала, что у них самая большая проблема с мусором в лесу, с загрязнением леса людьми. Yes. 
Also, we have uh, problems with uh, pollutions uh, such, uh, such as air, water pollutions in our uh, local uh, lakes, uh, rivers, uh, in the forests. Uh, uh, in, on summers, we have uh, some problems with uh, fires uh, because uh, our climate is uh, very hot uh, in summers. Uh, and uh, a lot of uh, people uh, leave uh, rubbish uh, after their walk, uh, walkings uh, and uh, no, other problems we have to. И проблемы с пожарами и с загрязнением окружающей среды Do you have uh, anything else? Uh, huge damage is done by gas and exhaust farms. Uh, in Moscow, in some places, will accumulate a huge amount of waste. A trash and urns, urns filed. The trash don't have time to remove them. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so it's again the same thing, right? Uh, so also we have a problem such as noise pollution and noises all around us. It's uh, cars or motorbikes or planes and it can make people ill and nervous. Um, may I ask you a question? How does the noise pollution influence forests? Okay, uh, Ivan, do you think we should? Oh. Yes, that's that's good. I think if each, uh, we have um, three Russian schools and one school from Taiwan, if each school could uh, maybe tell just, you know, two or three sentences about maybe a little bit about their school, um, a little bit about their community, and, you know, what their focus of study will be um, as far as Global Forest Watch, that would be a Global Forest Link, that would be great. So. Um, that was Moscow. The school was from Moscow. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So, do we have another city in Russia represented here? Да. Ребята из Соснова. Давайте вы сейчас скажете, расскажете про очень коротко, где вы находитесь, какие у вас проблемы в лесу. Тоже одно предложение буквально. И если вы знаете. Какова, какова будет тема ваших исследований? Тут тоже ставить. Если не знаете, то тогда... Мы вас не слышим. Мы вас не слышим. What will be the next school that, that talks? Вы, не, вы вас не слышим. Ребята из города Тверь, можно вас тогда попросить? Надо микрофон включить. Elena, what city is the next school? Uh, the Tver, but they also they disappeared, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe maybe our 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 colleagues from uh, Taiwan can introduce themselves while we have all the Russian schools on. So, yeah. so um, Taiwan, if you're with us, can you introduce yourself and uh, a, few, a sentence or two about your school and your community? <laughs> okay, so we are we are from Taiwan, and uh, actually our school is in the southern one. It's in the south. So mm -hmm. our school is a combination of junior high and senior high. So in total, there are about eight, eighteen hundred students in our school. So now the, this is a high school class elective course, which is called International Vision. So that's the reason we join your project. Fantastic. Я переведу быстренько для ребят, для русских. У них школа в Тайване, которая объединяет детей где-то с девятого, с шестого класса по последний класс, и у них там восемнадцать тысяч восемьсот ребят в одной школе. И это класс называется. What is the name of the class? International relationship. International. 
We're, we're missing the last International word. vision. Vision. Oh, uh, международная миссия. <laughs> vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got it, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Interesting name. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so um, we have two, do we have two more Russian schools to introduce themselves? Uh, ребята, у вас получилось uh, um, микрофон от, um, от, unmuted? Можете попробовать еще рассказать? Из основы, ребята. By the way, it's 1 p.m. on Tuesday in Taiwan. Yeah, 1.30. 1.30, okay. Надо нажать на иконку микрофона, и тогда он анмьютится. Тогда он включится. Видите там, где он перечеркнут? So... Is there another school that wants to introduce himself? Uh, I don't see them anymore. Тверь, ребята из Твери, я вас видела раньше, а теперь куда-то вы все исчезли. Okay, well, why don't we why don't we continue, and then if they come back, then then they can um, introduce themselves. So, um, this is a live conference, and we have many different time zones. We have several different languages, so. Um, you know, thank you for your patience, and um, we know how difficult it is to schedule these live events, so we really want to make this interactive and give you a chance to ask questions um, if you have any questions. So, um, okay, so um, the next thing is I'm just going to say a few words about the project process, and basically, um, this is combining your research where you're going and documenting uh, the condition of the forest, the forest health, and then you take some of that information and you, you create a story that you can share with all the other participants. Как вы знаете, основная идея проекта это то, что вы делаете свои исследования, что вы собираете данные, смотрите на другие данные, потом все это вместе собираете и создаете видеопрезентацию, которую вы потом показываете другим людям. Вы, наверное, об этом уже давно. And 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 actually, we we hope that you do create a video. However, you can also create a song or you can create a podcast. Um, you, can, you can present your story in any creative way that's interesting to you. Вы, uh, мы, просим, мы всегда говорим видеопрезентацию, но на самом деле вы можете, uh, uh, вы можете создать песню, вы можете создать подкаст. Uh, любая uh, uh, креативная история, которая любыми uh, средствами, как, которые вы можете выразить вашу историю, но uh, главное, чтобы это была история Олеси, о состоянии леса. Uh, вы можете использовать любые методы выражения этой истории. So, um, we've created a, web, a web page that has many, many resources that will help you with your project, help you plan your project, um, help you understand um, how to, a step-by-step -step guide on how to do the project, many, many tutorials. So, it's very important that you review the, the, the tutorials and the resources that are online so that you um, know exactly you know, what you need to do. Как вы знаете, мы на сайте у нас есть руководство и у нас есть страницы со всеми полезными или материалами, которые могут быть полезны или полезны вам. Поэтому очень вас просим эти все материалы изучить, изучить все руководства. И если у вас есть вопросы, тогда задайте их нам. Или вы можете задать эти вопросы, если у вас они уже есть к концу этого so there, there are other uh, schools from other cities that are participating that couldn't join this live conference tonight, but we will be setting up uh, a web uh, a page on the website. So if you want to have cultural connections with those other schools and the other cities um, around this project or in addition to this project, you'll be able to do that as well. Uh, как вы знаете, у нас много участников uh, в этом проекте. 
И э, мы в скорости разреш... дадим вам возможность, если вы хотите, помимо проекта или в, э, в рамках этого проекта, взаимодействовать с какой-нибудь одной школой или с двумя школами, мы вам дадим эту возможность, чтобы вы могли напрямую общаться с этой школой, если вы захотите. А у нас есть, а, вот сейчас уже у нас есть веб-сайт, где а, есть все участники а, а, проекта. Если вы пойдете, сегодня там а, поменялся, правда, сервер, и а, немножко а, все показывается, но а, вы, вы можете увидеть всех участников, которые участвуют в данном проекте. Мы еще дополнительно разрешим вам с ними контактировать напрямую, если вы хотите. Uh, so we already have the site with the uh, all project participants, uh, but we will uh, very soon allow you to directly contact them, to, uh, collaborate directly with one school. So, so Elena, maybe you could uh, say a few sentences about um, how we, we need to have them submit uh, a description of their school and their community and a few photographs that we can put on the project participant page. Мы вас уже просили вашу информацию и логос, и фотографию прислать, и многие школы уже это сделали. Мы сейчас организуем страницы для каждой из ваших школ. Если вы уже участвовали, ваша школа уже участвовала в проекте, то мы просто добавляем новых участников в страницы уже существующих. Uh, what I'm saying is we uh, asked uh, uh, all of you to submit additional information and bloggers and uh, photos of your team. And uh, uh, lots of you already have done this. And we, uh, we are currently creating the pages for each of you. And you, if your school already participated in the project, we're just adding your team to the school. And it's going to be available, these links are going to be available very soon. There, there is this swap application on the participants page and we will just activate the links uh, in a week or so. But uh, if you haven't submitted the information, please do it as soon as possible. And if you don't know how, um, send me the email. And then uh, another component of the project will be connecting with experts. So we're in the process of scheduling some webinars where uh, you'll be able to have a live connection with experts, ask them questions, and interact with them. So we'll, we'll let you know when those have been scheduled. Uh, еще uh, одна часть проекта – это uh, интервью экспертов. И мы сейчас разговариваем с разными экспертами, пытаемся uh, назначить um, конференцию, uh, uh, видеоконференцию с ними. И мы вам дадим знать, как только мы uh, будем точно знать, когда… Great. So, Elena, would you say a few, uh, just a little bit about the image and data collection process? Any insights or tips you can give the students um, when they when they go about doing that? Yeah. Uh, uh, can I start uh, with asking one question in Russian? Кто из вас, русские ребята, кто из вас еще не видел не видел руководство о том, как нужно собирать фотографии и как нужно собирать данные? Кто-нибудь видел это? не видел uh, okay so it seems that Russian students already know how to do it если у вас будут вопросы вы мне просто задайте в конце so I, I'm going to speak in English uh, on our website we have tutorial that is called how to collect images it's tutor tutorial number three and when you go there uh, let me let me share the again if you go when when you go there you will um, get the um, uh, you will get to the form uh, there are two forms one form is uh, the uh, paper form uh, that you print out when and before you go before you go to the forest and you collect all the data, you collect images and you collect data um, and uh, fill out uh, the um, paper form. When you come back to your computer, or you can try to use, if you have a connection, you can 
use this uh, online form in the in the forest as well. But in most cases, you don't have connect good connection there. So when you come back to your computer, you have to um, copy all the information that you collected uh, in uh, in the forest uh, uh, to the online form. So this is the. Uh, can you see the online form on my screen? Yes. Okay, so the uh, uh, online form will allow you to put the names of all the students in your team. See this plus sign, it says uh, add additional students. So you, um, you uh, enter the information about each student, uh, then you enter the information of school, and school is drop down menu. If you don't have your school there, you can use other, but please let us know if your school is not there. Uh, and please enter the information, uh, the best email uh, for your team to be contacted because sometimes we have some questions about the photo. Uh, when you take the uh, image the, uh, and tutorial shows you how to do it, uh, to do it please, um, if, if it's possible, please um, uh, turn on the geolocator on your phone or, or on your camera. It's not always possible, but in lots of cases it is possible so that the image will already have the latitude and longitude information. But just in case we're asking you to uh, also enter the location where the photo was taken onto, um, on this map. So you just zoom in, find your location. You can move the uh, uh, map and you can zoom in and out and just uh, put the pin in the location so that we have the, uh, just in case we cannot get the information from your image. Then uh, there is the bunch of questions that you need to answer uh, about the forests. And we have tutorial uh, online that tells you how to answer this. Most of these uh, que questions are uh, straightforward, but uh, tutorials also, uh, uh, give you detailed information how to do it. Again, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. And uh, there is this form in English and also in Russian. Russian ребята, вы можете такая же форма существует на русском языке и tutorial на русском языке вы можете заполнять ее на русском языке. Если вы будете делать это на английском, дайте нам знать, тогда мы перенесем информацию и название вашей школы в дропдаун меню. Uh, uh, на uh, английской форме. Я знаю, что школа 827 это будет делать. Если кто-нибудь другой это будет делать, дайте нам. I just said that if Russian teams want to do it in English, they uh, need to let us. Um, and again, uh, if you have any questions, uh, please send Yeah, so um, I'd like to actually see, I know that a lot of the Russian schools have uh, done this project uh, started doing this project, but uh, I wonder, uh, Taiwan, if you have any questions uh, about how to um, uh, collect the photographs and video and how to, how to enter it into the system. So, it's the first time for us. So if I have further questions, I will, I will ask you. Okay, all right. Um, yeah. Good. And if you need another training, we will be happy to do this, like 10, 15 minutes, just, just to go online. Absolutely. Okay, so um, I wanna say a few words about the storytelling part of it, because really this is, uh, it's two parts. It's you doing your research, and then it's you telling the story. And I know we call this Global Forest Watch, but many, many students don't live near a forest. So keep in mind that this, this includes your, your community parks and any place where there are trees in your community. So uh, we're actually developing a unit that will be called Urban Forest because uh, many people live in cities and they're not necessarily in remote forests. So. Um, City, city parks, the trees in city parks are affected by the same things, by fires and by drought and by uh, insects and by development and all of these things. So keep in mind that you don't have to go to a faraway place in a forest to tell us your story. 
Иван сказала, что сейчас она хочет поговорить немножко о презентациях, о видеопрезентациях, которые вы должны будете к концу проекта представить. И мы знаем, что многие из вас живут в городах, и у вас леса, которые мы называем городские леса, и мы сейчас готовим новый, новое руководство по поводу проблем в городских лесах, потому что они испытывают много проблем, которые испытывают и леса, дикие леса, но есть еще, конечно, другие дополнительные проблемы, например, вот московские школьники рассказывали о том, как загрязнение, из-за того, что люди устраивают пикники и так далее, насколько это распространено в московских. Great. So um, we have a, a video that is a short video, a five-minute video that gives you some important information about uh, collecting. Um, well, we created a video tutorial that helps you collect video or tells you how to collect video uh, when you're out in the parks or the forest. And it'll tell you simple things like if you're using your smartphone to hold it this way and not this way, it'll tell you that audio is the most important thing so always test when you're doing a video make sure that uh, there's there's not background noise like leaves blowing and uh, trains going by and that kind of a thing that is a, that so that you can't understand the video so very simple things like that and then and you can take still photos and put it together as a slideshow and then do either a voice narration or do a, a closed caption underneath? У нас на нашем сайте в руководствах есть руководство, видео руководство о том, как нужно сделать делать свои видеопрезентации, о том, как там есть, например, советы, как нужно пользоваться, если вы пользуетесь телефоном, как как нужно пользоваться для того, чтобы снимать фильм, как нужно сделать так, чтобы было хорошо слышно и так далее. А uh, это, это видео оно переведено на русский язык также, поэтому у вас не будет проблем его посмотреть. Uh, и также есть uh, на, в, этом же, в этом же руководстве есть uh, uh, видеопрезентация о том, как... Uh, uh, не видеопрезентация, а просто PowerPoint-презентация о том, как uh, потом можно из ваш, как можно наложить голос на презентацию, каким программам можно пользоваться. Если у вас будут вопросы, то вы к нам обращайтесь. Или если у вас будут какие-нибудь предложения, как это лучше сделать, то вы тоже можете с нами поделиться. Uh, I just want to, wanted to add that uh, in the same uh, tutorial, where we have uh, the uh, video on uh, how to create your video story, uh, we have also a PowerPoint presentation on how to do the voice over the PowerPoint presentation. Good, and um, I want to also include that something nice to add into your digital story would be some uh, quotes. If you if you talk to experts, to forestry experts, and they you can include part of their interview in your story, that would be a nice addition. Было бы очень хорошо, если вы в свою видео презентацию, если это видео история, и вы интервьюируете какого-нибудь эксперта. Uh, uh, то было бы очень замечательно, если бы вы могли включить какие-нибудь его высказывания и так далее. Или даже если это, ну, если это живое интервью, то кусок живого интервью, а если это просто uh, PowerPoint-презентация, то просто uh, запись того, что он сказал. So, and there, there, there is a, a, a video competition. You don't all have to enter that, but we are, um, there will be some awards and prizes, $100 uh, awards for the most creative, the best technical, and the best content. So if you're interested in that, if you have a team of students, usually students work in teams of two to four students, and you want to enter the competition, then we encourage you to do that. И uh, вы знаете, что у нас будет uh, соревнование на лучшие uh, видеопрезентации, так же, как и в прошлый раз. И uh, вы не обязаны uh, участвовать именно в этом соревновании, но у вас есть шанс, если вы вовремя uh, подадите свою видеопрезентацию, и все условия uh, на нашем сайте объявлены, и то вы можете получить, выиграть uh, приз 100 долларов за... Uh, есть три категории, вы из этих, из этих категорий, можете получить. 
Great. So um, we're at the point where we're going to open this up to questions. So um, if you have a question, maybe you could just wave at us and we'll, um, we'll call on you and you can ask your question. Because if you have a question, then maybe that's the same question that other people have as well. Uh, давайте мы теперь будем задавать вопросы. Если у вас есть вопрос, uh, вы поднимите руку и... Uh, ребята из uh, Соснова, у вас есть вопрос? Uh, у вас микрофон только... Включите микрофон еще разочек. Теперь скажите. Мы вас не слышим. В следующий раз, когда вы будете uh, перед зум конференции попрос... uh, uh, попробуйте свой звук. Там есть микрофон и звук. И тогда вы сможете наладить правильный компьютер. Мы вас не слышим. And sorry, uh, how many teams are there in uh, the project now? Um, I think we have. Uh, hold on, just a second. I'll share my screen with you. We have uh, the twelve. Um, let me share the screen. Um, So this is the uh, map that shows all the participants um, of the project. And if we, um, uh, if we stratify them by country, we will see that we have seven participants in the US, one participant in Taiwan, one in Hong Kong, 20 in uh, Russia, and one in Ecuador. And you can go and click on them and look at their videos. And this is the information on them. And we will be adding, right now we don't have, this is the school website, but we will have the project uh, page linked to them as well. So you will be able to see all their information. Uh, this is on the, this is under participants um, on the project site. The only thing is wait till tomorrow because the server uh, where we have these uh, applications, it was changed and the uh, name didn't propagate it. So it has a new IP, but it will be working tomorrow. Ребята, русские, я сказала, что я показала аппликацию, которую мы сделали со всеми командами, которые участвуют в этом проекте. И мы сейчас доделываем ваши страницы, и они будут перелинкованы к, к этой информации. Поэтому всегда можете посмотреть, кто участвует, и фотографии участвуют. Только если вы прислали свою информацию. Есть еще вопросы? Wave, wave at us if you have a question, because this, this, is, this is your chance to ask a question, or if you just want to tell us something or share an idea with us, this would be a great time to do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, I want to ask you about your project. Uh, how... <laughs> Yes. Do you yeah. think your project can save the planet? <laughs> do, I, do you want to answer this? <laughs> um, our project can save the planet, but you can save the planet. If all of you are um, uh, sharing what you learn with the public, if you're sharing your project with your local newspaper and your local uh, 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 media, TV broadcast media, and you're posting it on, on social media, you all can change the, the, or save the world and save the planet, but not just this project. We need you to, all of us to work together to make that happen. I agree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, and that's why we were we are trying one of the um, of one of the documents that we have online is the uh, tip on how to approach media outlets. I'm not sure uh, uh, how it works in Russia, 
uh, I, we would really value your inputs on how you uh, do the, uh, how do you project the media and how you tip them on how to cover this project. It will be very great if you can give us any tips or inputs on that. Because we, saw, we know how, how it works here in the US, but how it works in Taiwan and how does it work in Russia, we are not 100% sure. So we will really uh, appreciate if, we, if you can give us your feedback. And also if you share your project with the rest of the school, if you share it at like a school event or at a city council meeting or um, you know um, any any place that you share the project and, and talk about the project we want you to be um, stewards or ambassadors for this project русские ребята я немножко переведу вопрос был о том спасет ли наш global forest link проект планету мы сказали что мы конечно один проект не спасет, но мы надеемся, что вы станете, в общем-то, носителем этой идеи в, в общество и в свои, в, в свои communities, и вы сможете, например, попытаться опубликовать то, что вы знаете во время этого проекта, вашей истории, вы в местных местопечатях. Yeah, I show uh, social uh, social networks, social uh, media is a huge thing now. So it's really uh, easy to post and to reflect on this if you do it on Facebook or Instagram or whatever you are using. Great. You know that we have a Facebook page, Instagram, and Twitter. So we have Facebook page, we have Instagram, and we have Twitter and all the information is online. So just please join the Facebook, please. Great, so um, are there any other questions? Well, um, I think that we're ready to end this and, and let you start your school day or continue with your school day. And we're, uh, we're very excited that you joined us for this. This is the very first uh, webinar that we've done for, for the fall session. So um, we're gonna, when the recording um, is available, we'll let you know the link and you can, you can watch it again and see yourselves in there. So uh, if there are no more questions, I'd like everybody to wave goodbye. Bye bye. 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 You can unmute bye. your mics and everybody can say goodbye <laughs> in your language, whatever language you speak. Say goodbye. Bye. 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 See you soon.